A Canadian accountant has been accused of time theft and is now going to have to pay back wages that had already been paid to her. And this is a result of time tracking software. The software that's used to determine if you're actually working when you say you are. This is the sort of dystopic remote work present that we now have. This is not in the future, it's already being used. So Carly Bess is an employee at Reach CPA. Initially, it claimed that she was wrongfully dismissed and that her employer owed her $5,000 in unpaid wages and severance pay. Her employer said it terminated her because she engaged in time theft and filed a countersuit looking for $2,600 in wages it had paid her when she allegedly wasn't working. Okay, so the, uh, lots of companies obviously are installing a variety of different types of programs to be able to track both your keystrokes as well as the key clicks and movement of your mouse to be sure that you're working on approved tasks and not wasting the company's time. Best said that back in February of last year, she initiated meetings with her manager to improve her productivity. At that point, they used a software, a time tracking software called Time Camp on her work issued laptop. And here's where it gets even worse. Screen capture videos recorded by the program ultimately proved that she engaged in time theft according to the Civil Resolution Tribunal, Canada's first online court. The videos show that uh, which documents the user opens and for how long they interact with them. While the software distinguishes between work and non-work activities such as streaming video. She claimed that she'd printed the documents in question, was working off the hard copies, but never communicated this to reach. Her employer said her printing activity was limited because they're tracking that too. And that she could not have printed the large volume of documents required to do her work. In response to this, the court has dismissed her claim and ordered her to pay back more than $1,500 in wages. And so people in the chat I see are talking about covering up your camera. That's a good point too. No, it can record your screen. It records what you type, what you click, what is actually on your screen, how much you're printing. It is, it's even more intrusive than a person just standing over your shoulder watching what you do. Jared, what do you think? Yeah, the only reason we have this, uh, people accept this. And I'm sure many people may hear this and go, well, look, she wasn't on the computer. I can understand that point of view, but we've been um, conditioned to believe that unless you are slaving away at every second of your day, that you are causing an issue for the company. I'm not sure if they also converted or, or, or illustrated just how her lack of productivity has hurt the company's bottom line. Uh, also the fact that we would assume that whoever the head of this whole company is or a person above her that's implementing these rules, that they're hard at work too, because that's the assumption. Well, you know, you can't work for someone who's self-made, who's done everything right in their life and has accumulated this wealth and this company and this business that is allowing you to have an effing job in the first place. All these assumptions about the folks that are running these things have has this 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 veneer of how great they are and how much better and hardworking they are. And in a lot of cases, it's just not the fact. And in fact, when these companies do fall apart, especially large ones that uh, like to lobby <laughs> towards our politicians, uh, a lot of times they're bailed out, they're given money, and then they're allowed to survive longer. Do we lose respect for them then? Yeah, you lose I, respect for their perspective and how they do these things because they suck at their job. No, they get paid and continue to do it more just because they've been given that position and then paid to, to stay in that position. Like the real question should be, did you did you do the job? Like, can what like? And, and by the way, they're saying like, if you're streaming video, then you're not doing your job. What if you're streaming video while doing your job? Like when I had to edit tons of videos, I was watching like reruns of House. While editing the video, you can do both of those things. Um, and by the way, like just as you know, there's the tech to try to track. Then there's also the the counter tech. So if you take a look at this last graphic, there are mouse jigglers that can help <laughs> to uh, you know like make term. it seem as if I don't necessarily either. <laughs> Animals are innocent. Don't jiggle your mice. But anyway, um, maybe this just isn't a direction we should go in. And by the way, like this is gonna be a ridiculous comparison to make because I understand that some of us are supposed to have the boot of capitalism on our neck and some are supposed to be wearing the boot. But um, so she, I don't even like, by the way, I wanna be clear. I don't care if she stole time, I don't like this anyway. It seems that she did, I don't care. Why is it? That if she wasted 30 minutes to watch an episode of The Office before getting her job done, then she needs to be taken to court. Whereas if you're the CEO, are they tracking to see if you're wasting any time? 
You remember when there was an episode of The Office, by the way, Michael Scott was told he had to quit his second job if it was stopping him from doing his main job. Is anyone looking into Elon Musk, who is the CEO of other companies? Does anyone think that he's fulfilling his obligations to Tesla while he's spending all day and night working at Twitter? Is anyone time tracking him and accusing him of wage theft as he makes countless millions of dollars for a job that he hasn't done in literally months? Why is it that some of us get surveillance and tracking and video surveillance and they're watching every second you do, and the others who are making so much more money have total freedom to do whatever they want? That is a mess. Obviously, it's because they have the power, but that is something that needs to be challenged. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.